channel and thank you for watching. As you can see today, I'm back in my garage. I am going to start working on this side of the garage. It is a mess. I need to clean, declutter, and organize it. But I don't think I'm going to finish it today because I have about an hour and 15 minutes to do this in and I know that I'm not going to get it done. This is a much bigger project than that, but I want to get it started. So what I'm going to do today is set my timer for 45 minutes. That way I have given myself a little cushion to clean up everything after that and put everything away because that's what I want to do with <laughs> this. I don't want to leave a mess, but because I don't have a long time to do it, I don't want to have things out when I'm done because usually I have much longer and a project like this is going to be a couple hours. I know that. Anyway, let's get started and see how I do. Since it's grass cutting season, I need to be able to access my on my work but I can't because I have so much stuff on top of it at this point I don't have that long to work on this project so what I decided to do was set a timer for 45 minutes this gave me enough time to get started but also more importantly to clean up <laughs> it's really important to clean up after doing a decluttering project like this is if I left the job half done I would be leaving clutter magnets all over my garage I would be leaving piles of flower pots or mowing stuff seeds whatever I'd be leaving it all over the garage and that clutter because when it's not where it belongs to me it's clutter will attract other clutter and also when my husband gets home he won't be thr thrilled about not being able to park his car in the garage so for me it was really important to get some of this done but not dive so much into the project that i would leave a mess on the floor that's why i only set my timer for 45 minutes and not the hour and 15 minutes I knew I had before I really had to be out of the garage. I wanted to give myself time to clean up and a little cushion time because sometimes when I'm doing a project like this, I will get into something and I just want to finish up that little task. So I gave myself a buffer. This is really important because if I did not do that, I would be leaving a mess on this floor and it would not work out well. <laughs> Okay, I am not doing a deep clean here. I am just trying to get the dirt off the walls here. I don't clean in my garage that often. It's not a place that I go out to to tidy up. Partially because it was such a mess, I didn't want to go out there. But actually, I have actually been going out there more often and just giving it a quick tidy so it doesn't get this bad again. I know, it's a mess. I'm just making it neat and tidy. Garage standard, not house standard, I guess. And, you know, sometimes that's all I can do.
did not even know the lawnmower was missing this piece until I was tidying up here. It's the back cover to the lawnmower. I took it off last fall because I wanted to mow up the leaves and make the leaf clean up a little easier. And I forgot to put it back in. And as you can see, I have so much extra grass in this chute because I didn't put it back in. And the reason I didn't put it back in is I didn't see it out. I never looked to see if there was anything in that hole. And I never saw it on the ground until I took everything out of this one spot. That's why I need to declutter in here every once in a while. <laughs> I'm not taking the bikes off the wall today for two reasons. One, they're kind of heavy and I really don't want to get them down because I would hurt myself. And two, they're just going to go right back up there. And since I don't know what to do with them yet, for, for right now, it's okay. Because this is what I call a first pass in the garage. I am just trying to get it neat and tidy. I will have to come back in and do this again probably later in the summer and start doing it more often because once I get a little better organized it'll be easier to handle doing this clean declutter and organize today is going to take me longer than if I had pulled everything off the wall, cleaned everything up, and then put everything back. However, I didn't have enough time today, and my goal today was to make progress without leaving a mess behind. It would not have been fair to my husband to leave the garage full so he could not pull in and park in the garage. He likes to do that. He leaves early in the morning, doesn't want to deal with anything outside so it's easier for him and it's only fair so this way taking it apart in sections and just doing it in sections help me make progress without leaving a mess because sometimes 